I've got to say something about those people that use handicap placards. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. You're in a parking lot, you see this big giant SUV or pickup truck or sports car come in all manly and everything. And they come in there and they park in a handicap spot because they have one of those things. And then the person just gets out and walks into the store like no problem. I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Now I know there are people who who need those. You know, people who are so bad off, they really need one of those things. But I would say the great majority of people who use those things are not only abusing the system, they are abusing themselves. Because the one thing that they need to be healthy, to be better off so their body functions better is to move their body and you see this at the gym they literally sit there and wait and block traffic so they can get that they see somebody about to back out from one of the parking spaces that's near the front door right you always see this in the parking lot and then they, they go and they take they get really they don't let anybody in there and then they got to get that spot and then they walk into the gym just so they can go on a treadmill and walk for half an hour <laughs> like even if you, you know what I do when I go to a parking lot? I do this all the time. I get the furthest spot from the door and I make myself walk as far as possible into the door at the store. Or I go, or I park in like around the corner and in the furthest spot so I can, I, I mean, I got to get my 10,000 steps in every day. And I, I need to walk more. Everybody needs to walk more. So I, every chance where I can walk an extra thousand steps or whatever, I take it all the time. And I see these people at theme parks that are in those electric chairs, you know, like that drive them around like that. They're overweight. They need to be walking. That's the one thing they need is to walk so they can get things moving in their body. And yet that's the worst thing is to just sit there and, and not move your body. Now, I know their knees hurt because their, their legs can't handle the 400 pounds that their body weighs. But you got to start somewhere. You got to start moving your body. I mean, of course, eat right and all that. But you need to move your body. And that's the biggest problem for people in the modern world. They don't move their body enough. They sit in their car. Car, they sit at home and they sit at the restaurant, they sit at work, they sit everywhere. Everywhere they do is sit. Then they come home and they sit and watch TV and it's, everything is sit, sit, sit. Nobody gets enough walking nowadays. So that just really gets me. Handicap placards are unhealthy for people who use them because it allows them to walk less. And I know, like I said, there are some people who need those who are not able to and need help. I get that. But what, what happens when you injure yourself? You go to therapy. What do therapists do? They, they, they make you slowly learn to walk again. They make, you, they make you walk. They make you move. They put you in a swimming pool. You got to start moving your joints. And that's how you get back into being a human being again. So you can start moving your body. The worst thing is to sit there and not, and just like, ugh, I'm feeling sorry for myself. I can't do anything. I'm going to, you know, you just, you just, <laughs> you just become stiff and then you, you can't move. And then you wonder why you're having heart problems and weight gain and all kinds of issues. So, yeah, if you have health issues, one of the best things you can do for yourself is to walk. That's the one thing. I mean, drink a bunch of water and walk and get sunlight. The three simplest things on planet Earth that are designed for health. It's not necessarily eating a bunch of certain type of food. Matter of fact, the less food you eat, it's called fasting. It's really good for you. But it's moving your body, getting sunlight, exercising, obviously, and something like that, good mood, uh, fresh air, walking, you know, the basic stuff. If you were in nature, that's what you would do. People, they go hiking, they go on holidays, and they feel better because they get more of that. They get more sunlight, they get more walking, they get more, uh, you know, movement in their body. So it's just, it's just aggravating seeing these people who think they're, ha ha, I got, I got a shortcut, I got a cheat. People try to find cheats. With everything, like, just tell me what to take to get better. Oh, there, there's a, I'm going to get a handicap placard so I can park closer to the front door and not move my body enough. And the irony is, again, those people that are sick and not well off, they need to move their body to get things flowing because when things start flowing and circulating, everything in your body starts working like it should and it starts healing itself and you start getting better. And the less you move, the more you, uh, it's called entropy. Everything eventually, all systems fall apart and die. 
and the less you move, the more you die. And it's also, it's, 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 it's a negative affirmation. Quit calling yourself handicapped. Even if you're not handicapped and you just use those things to cheat to get a parking spot, you're still calling yourself handicapped. You're still programming your subconscious somehow into going into that area, into that direction. The more you affirm that you are not handicapped, that you are an, a free, all-purpose being that can go out in the world and conquer things and, and nobody, nothing gets you down, you've got energy, you're healthy, get more things in your life that affirm that, not the opposite. Quit telling the world, huh, the, even if you're, you're, you're not handicapped, you're still telling the world you are, and guess what happens eventually? You are going to attract stuff to you that affirms that. So stop it. And I, and I say this the other way too. If you are really sick and w not good off, start telling yourself that you are well off, and that you are healed, that you are better, you are in a good mood. Even if you're in a crappy mood, start telling jokes and, you know, go in the direction of the positive, not the negative. It's so important that you start telling yourself and the world that you are doing good and then start proving it. And it, it'll just start coming to you. It'll start happening. So anyway, uh, yeah, when you uh, do what I do, when you go into a parking lot, instead of waiting in to get that parking spot, the closest parking spot and pissing people off behind you, Go to the far end of the parking lot. There's nobody there. And you walk and you'll feel so much better. And the best thing you can do after going to a restaurant or eating out or anything is to go for a 20 minute walk. I mean, that's what I do. I, when I go out to eat, I like to walk around and look at stuff and it makes me feel good to walk around. Or, or you're in a, you know, if you're near a park or whatever, just walk. Don't sit there, walk. It's simple. The answer is to life are often the simple ones. That's my lecture for the day. All right, so if you got one of those handicap placards, don't use it unless you really, really have to. It's karma. It's going to get you. It's going to get you. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Here come the million excuses. This isn't land of the free, it's land of the donuts and pizza. Oh, I need to go for a walk. Ra, 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 ra. Ra, 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 ra.